That's frightening. This might go in the bag just because of the sound it makes. I'm seriously thinking about this. So far, the biggest shock of 2024 for me when it comes to metal woods has been this brand right here. And it's not a brand you wouldn't necessarily think about when it comes to fairway woods, hybrids, or even drivers, but Mizuno have been crushing it this year. And I think it's important that we actually have a look and decide if these should be going in my bag, in your bag, and just if they are great value for money. Introducing the brand new Mizuno ST Max 3 wood, and this is the 230 family. We will get it off eventually. And I absolutely adored the hybrid in this family. I think it's one of the best hybrids I've tested in a very long time. Will people put it in the bag? Is it worth the money? All these are questions I want you to be putting in the comments below, guys. But today we're testing the three wood. And the first thing I want to discuss is when we look down at this three wood, that is the perfect head shape. Mizuno, I take my hat off to you. You cannot make a better fairway shape than this right here. We can see the lovely carbon effect on top. You can see that we do have adjustable loft sleeves on there as well. And even just having this little blue accent at the back, I think really shows how much real estate you've got to help you with this club. It's a forgiving three wood, but it's not necessarily huge and uncouth. Is that the word? I don't know, Bobby would know. Bobby, but Bobby's not here, is he? No. So if Bobby's not here, he's never gonna know. But another holiday for Bobby. Let's see how it performs both on the course and in the studio. Now that sounded ridiculous. I've pulled it a little bit, but that's gone miles as well. This is sometimes, you know, you test a fairway wood and fairway woods are a funny thing because say if you've got a Titleist driver, a Callaway driver, a TaylorMade driver, a lot of people would want a matching three wood in the bag. I, I like to have different actually. I like to have something a little bit more unique. So I've been using the PXG driver for a while and the PXG fairway wood's amazing, but is this even better? And is it the dark sheep? Right, Chris, you played with me the last couple of weeks. I haven't hit any shots that good ever. Like none. Feel, sound, I dare say performance, they're, they're carrying at least probably 240, 250 in the air. And we haven't changed the loft on this at all. Okay, that's the... That's the one when we get a little bit carried away. We'll, we'll, we'll open up. Guys, let's have some more shots out here in the golf course with this. We might need another ball now. And also we're gonna test it in the studio to see if all this tech provides us with a much better fairway wood in 2024. Are we filming? So Chris has just said, I do well to get my driver here sometimes. I was happy picking that up, Chris, but the first one's just in the left-hand rough. We'll not talk about the last one that went in Woolley Hall. Luckily enough, it's not occupied anymore, apart from police training raids. So if they do find a, um, a seed, bring it back if you want. Hope I don't hurt anyone. But let's go to the next tee. This is like, shall we miles see it? Because I reckon uphill, that's at least 260, which is massive. It's 260 bang onto that tree, which is level with it. 251 playing 260. On the move. Cracking bowl. So when it comes to it deep down, guys, get in the comments below and let me know what do you want from your fairway wood? Because this kind of little love affair started not only when I tested the Mizuno ST Max driver, the 230 family, because I knew that was going to be pretty good. Mizuno drivers, they're never the longest, they're never the most forgiving, they're always kind of in that middle of the pile pack. And they're also not the most expensive, which again, you have to take your hats off to. I tested the hybrid and the hybrid is phenomenal. The hybrid's really, really good up there with some of the best. And again, slightly undercutting them on price. So when it comes to the three wood now, I've hit a couple of good tee shots. I'm hitting them all off the deck because I feel like that's pretty much what you would do with the three wood. We might tee one up at the end here, but how versatile is it? Can we play a nice high shot that just kind of bounds on there? Yes. The sound on that, by the way, it sounds really good. That was actually a little bit out of the toe as well. You can probably tell the ball flight was turning over just a touch, but that's what that Cortex chamber does allow. It allows for more ball speed around the face. I can't wait to show you the numbers for this, so make sure you do stay tuned. We've played a high one. Can we play a nice low one, a Sergio Garcia-esque little kind of stinger three wood here? We can, that's down the left side, cutting back nicely. I'll be looking forward to seeing the difference in distance there because they're both on the same line. 
one of them was a nice high one, one of them was a nice low one. Now, if we were to tee this up and almost treat it like a little bit of a, a driver replacement, you could say, because it's a lovely shaped head, it's a lovely sized head, and we could drag this loft down to like 13, 13 and a half. So realistically, that would be a nice little mini driver. What can it go like off the tee? Oh, Chris, look at that. I think I'm in love with the three wood. I best tell the wife. She'll not be happy again. So I'm in awe of this Mizuno fairway wood, as you've all probably come to realise. But it's only as good as the numbers we can get with it. How far can we hit this fairway wood and can we keep it on the grid here on the Two Vision system? So let's find out. I'm going to say it again. The head shape is phenomenal. I can't believe how good the head shape is. And that's gone a little bit left, but head speed is up there. Ball speed, 156. 4,000 backspin, so quite a bit of backspin. 240, 251 total. I would like to try and keep that on the planet. That was more the golf swing where we saw it go a little bit left on me. But forgiveness-wise for spin rate and ball speed, very, very happy with that there. That's a better one. That's a better one. 3.8. Ball speed 153, very similar numbers, 240, 250 total. Starting to see, I mean, one, 104 head, starting to see a little bit more consistency, I think. And I, I do generally tweak a lot of clubs left, so I'm not worried too much about that. And then you go and hit that one and you're like, wow, wow. I absolutely love this club. And I think if I can start hitting them more and more like that, Speaks for itself, doesn't it? One more, how, how far can it go? Bobby, what have we got in the tank, do you think? 270. Someone wants a pay rise. <laughs> That's as good as I've got, that is lovely. Spin's jumped up a little bit though because of the extra speed. And it's just a nice, consistent 250 yards. Let's get back out there and see what this is like off the fairway into a par five. And so guys, we have spoken about that Cortec chamber, which is the main piece of tech in this golf club, but it also features a wider profile, large footprint with a wraparound toe composite for extreme twist resistance, which I must say, I have felt a little bit out here. Apart from that third shot we hit on the first tee, which wasn't twist, that was club face actively closed. It feels really good. We have the expanded Cortec chamber, which is a dense stainless steel weight with an elastoma TPU. That takes stress away from the club face and creates an additional energy source, which again, just helps you with a little bit more ball speed on and around the face, depending where you hit it. We have a speed bevel, which is a modification to the leading edge, which ensures cleaner turf interaction and speed retained on strikes direct from turf. So that's going to help us here where we're going to test it into the par five now. And we also have a high energy, massic, don't know what that means, steel face. Let's see. This would take a miracle, would it? We're a long way out. But all I'm wanting is a really nice clean strike. I think you'd like this, Chris. The shape's delightful. Look at that. And that almost sounded, you know, like an old school persimmon. I don't know how, but it really does sound like really good. It really does sound really good. Excellent description word, James. That's frightening. This might go in the bag just because of the sound it makes. Seriously thinking about this. 